what is good everybody, Dust for Kicks here, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the 85 Jordan 1 Breads. Let's go ahead and check them out. All right guys, so this here comes from Developer Boring. Information is gonna be right here on the screen, so you can go ahead and check them out. Also going to include a coupon code right here so you can save some money while we're at it. First things first, we have the custom Developer Boring box. You can see it is a brown box, it's Developer Boring. The little sticker right here has the sizing details, even the name, and all kinds of cool little details like that. Opening the box, you have all kinds of little details for the construction of the shoe and details by Developer Boring right there on the inside of the box. As far as accessories go, you got the flat white laces and then you also have the flat red laces. Getting into the actual shoes, first thing I wanna show is the shape. Look at that nice flat toe box, just like they did in 85. I don't see any reason to really iron it down. It looks really nice in my opinion. The straight back here, just the slant and everything. Looks really, really on par to pictures I've seen because I don't own any 85s. I wasn't even born then. So towards the ankle collar, you see you have that nice flat black for the leather around the ankle collar. Going down to the nice dark red and then the Jordan logo right there. You can see it is nicely embossed. It's not super, super embossed into it. It does look a lot like the 85s. I think they improved this from the Chicago's. Then it goes down into the black kit here, as well as down the lace guard and around the toe box, as well as side panels. It is a nice leather. It looks like it's going to age really well with wear. You have the nice, slightly oversized red swoosh right there in leather. Then the red right here on the heel. Midsole color is just a straight clean white. Outsole we're met with that nice red with the Nike hit right there on the center. Come over to the toe box. Once again, we have that nice red for the leather. Black laces by default. You already saw the white and red that come with it as well. Black nylon tongue. Tongue tag you'll see right here is black with Nike, the swoosh and air and the trademark symbols right there in red. Coming over to the inside of the shoe, you have a nice black mesh sock liner. You'll see right here, it says 12 because that's my size. And then it says custom by DB, which is developer boring. You also have a developer boring custom insole right there. White saying developer boring right there. Come over to the back side, you have the nice red here, then the heel tab, the red here, and then the black around the ankle collar. Medial side to finish it all off. Once again, you'll see that really nice 85 kind of look and shape for it. You have the red right here towards the ankle collar and the back heel going into the nice oversized red leather swoosh black for the side panels it is a really soft leather you can see it when i press down i think it's going to age and wear really well same for the hit here down the lace guard and around the toe box and then it's finished out with that nice clean white midsole all right so obviously these aren't actual jordan one breads all the way from 1985 that would be crazy and they would definitely not be in this good of a condition these are from boring they custom made them and that's what they've been coming out with as of recently, they came out with the 1.0 for Chicago's, even made a 2.0, and now this is the same as the 2.0, but in the bread colorway. I believe this is the model and the same shape and everything they're using going forward for the other 85 colorways, and I am so stoked. Red and black being my two favorite colors, mix it together on a Jordan 1 silhouette, one of my all-time favorite silhouettes. These were just a must cop. That shape is super, super nice. The details from the Wings logo to the oversized swoosh, Everything about this screams me and I knew I had to grab them. I have the Chicago 1.0s, might pick up the 2.0s, might not. But these, I just knew I needed to grab them and add them to the rotation. And I'm so stoked that they came in and they look as nice as I thought they would. All right guys, I think that's it for me today. Just like always, I really appreciate you coming over to the channel and hanging out for a bit. Until next time, I'm Justin for Kicks, peace.